Hey everybody, Dieter Curtin back here at Oracle Arena. Warriors beat the Detroit Pistons 121-114. A nice bounce back win for the Warriors after a really terrible performance on Saturday. Let's break it down. Three things off of this game. Number one, effort. And it seems like that's all it comes down to for the Golden State Warriors most nights. Do they care? Do they want to put the effort forward? Tonight they did. And uh, they played one of their better offensive games of the season against a good Pistons team. A team that I believe is tied for sixth in the Eastern Conference standing, or at least was before tonight's game. Uh, uh, excellent. They came out. Pride kicked in a little bit here for the Golden State Warriors, though I will say it helps to have Stephen Curry back into the fold. He was making things happen from the jump. The Warriors fed off of that energy in a lot of positive ways, and the defensive intensity established early, waned a little bit late when they had a big lead and let Detroit back into it a little bit in the final minutes, but still, excellent performance from the Warriors. You take the good with the bad, that's where we're at in the regular season for a team that has done a lot of really good stuff over the last few years. Second thing, uh, a little bit of uh, change-ups tonight. So Stephen Curry, uh, excellent game for Stephen Curry, don't get me wrong, 26 points, 9 of 19, 5 three-pointers made, but he also had 9 rebounds. So Stephen Curry now pulling down rebounds. Kevin Durant only shot the ball 6 times in this game. He also had 11, re or 11 assists, so now he's the point guard in this situation. Draymond Green took 11 shots in this contest. Andrew Bogut was an offensive force in this game. There was a lot of weird stuff happening, but again, it was as cohesive of an offensive game as we've seen from the Warriors in a while. It was up there with what we saw on Thursday when the Warriors had three kinds of smoke going against the Indiana Pacers. Uh, stand out from this one, 61% shooting, 52% from beyond the arc. Those are numbers that are just not going to be matched. Some of that's luck, but a lot of it is exceptional ball movement, exceptional rhythm, exceptional pace. The Warriors were all playing in the same flow, and that might be the operative word, flow. Great flow from the Warriors tonight. A lot of that coming from Durant, taking a step back from trying to get his own shot and distributing for his teammates. The Pistons had no answer for that. Durant was absolutely fantastic, despite only scoring 14 points in this contest. Third thing, this is a bit of a throwback. It's nice to know that some things never change. The Warriors' effort, it's going to go in and out. Uh, we're going to presume that this team competes for the NBA championship again this year, but we can never be sure if that's going to be the case or not. It seems like the rest of the league is catching up a little bit to where Golden State is at. If they take their foot off the accelerator, who the heck knows what could happen. But Draymond Green will always own Blake Griffin. That is something you can take to the bank every single day, including Sunday, apparently. Uh, Blake Griffin had actually a fairly nice box score line tonight. 6 of 14 from the floor, uh, 24 points. But Draymond Green just owned him again. Draymond said he takes this personally. I honestly do not know why he takes it so personally, but it's like an affront to Draymond Green. And when Draymond Green feels challenged, Draymond Green plays his best basketball. Exceptional again on the defensive end tonight. The Warriors fed off of it. Great game for Golden State. State. We'll see if they can keep this energy up going into Memphis. I'm not optimistic, but I like to be surprised every now and again. We will talk after that game. I believe it's on Wednesday. Talk to you then.